Thank you for joining this lesson. We are continuing with matrices and transformations. And uh, I want us to still compare again the area scale factor and the determinant of a matrix. We had earlier on mentioned that, that the area scale factor is given by the absolute value of the determinant of the transforming matrix. In that, in case we find a scale factor sorry, a determinant which is negative, then the scale factor will be related straight to the absolute value. For example, if we get determinant as a value like negative 2, then area scale factor will be taken as 2. So the absolute value is what we consider here. The area of a triangle, for example, is square units 24, 24 square units. The triangle is mapped onto image P by the matrix 6, 5, 3, 4 find the area of the image p so we already have area of object area of object as 24 square units and we don't have area of the image but we have the transforming matrix which is six five three four such that we can first of all get that or the determinant. The determinant of this matrix is given by the product of elements in this leading diagonal, 24, which is 6 times 4. Then we subtract product of elements in the other diagonal, 15, that is 3 by 5. So this gives us 24 minus 15, and 24 minus 15 is 9. If 24 minus 15 is 9, that one means our area scale factor, which is equal to determinant, is 9. Now that we have area scale factor and we have area of object, then we can get to our relationship which says that area scale factor is given by area of image divided by area of object. Area of object. So this means we can say that area scale factor, which is already 9, is given by the known image area divided by the known object area. So cross multiplying, x will be provided by 9 times 24. And 9, from the calculator, 9 by 24 is giving us a, sorry, 9 times 24 is giving us 216. So 216 square units. 216 square units is the area of this image. Thank you for following. Kindly subscribe to our channel and share this link.